Hey, how you doing today? Well. You guys been authorized to park over here, or? Can I help you with something? Yeah, I was asking, have you been authorized to park over here? Is this your building? I'm asking you, have hey, you been, you have you, yes sir, hey, excuse me, I'm asking you a question. If you would uh, like to move your car so you I can move? pull off, that would be great. Good deal, yep, see you later. Do you guys have authorization to be here? Okay, can you uh, can you give me the property owner's number so I can verify that, please? Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, San Joaquin Jr. On this channel, we discuss your constitutional rights and also go over videos of cop watches and First Amendment audits. Today's video is from the channel for public safety, and this has to be one of the most boss moves I've seen from an auditor. This video takes place in Louisville, Kentucky, and it involves the Louisville Police Department. More specifically, it involves officers Ludwell and Pond. So, for public safety was at a gas station and was going about his night. As he's getting gas, he notices these two officers chilling in the parking lot of a building that's up for lease. At that point, Fort Public Safety wanted to see what the hubbub was about and drove up next to these officers to ask them if they have permission to be on the private property. That's when things get interesting to say the least. But instead of telling you about it, I'll play the video for you all and break a few things down. Gagging, we're gonna ask them if they're aware of the loitering laws here. So, go ahead and fire up your can. Parking or authorized vehicles will be towed away. Towing recovery. You got that sign? <laughs> hey, how you doing today? Well. You guys have been authorized to park over here or? Yeah, I was asking, have you been authorized to park over here? Is this your building? I'm asking you, have you been, have you, yes sir, hey, excuse me, I'm asking you a question. How long have you been here? How long have you guys been sitting here? How long have you been sitting here? If you would uh, like to move your car so you I can move? pull off, that would be great. Good deal, yep, see you later. Why'd he pull up right behind us like that? Like, Oh, am I being detained? Did he detain me? Was that like an intimidation factor or? I just want to make sure. You're not trying to detain me, are you? No. Okay, I just want to make sure you pulled up right behind me like that. Yeah, you, yeah, you guys can go ahead and get out of here. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, you gotta respect that private policy. You know, this this is private property, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's behind us right now talking about we're on private property. <laughs> there is a trespass waiver on file. A trespass waiver on file? Are you yes, trespassing? There's a trespass waiver on file, so you oh, actually don't have any legitimate business on this property. Yeah. Do you? So if you'd like to stay over there on Fort's property, that would be great. Yeah, I'd say this is probably the property line right here. I think you can identify that. What's that? I'm literally using a PA. I have bad hearing. I, d I couldn't hear you. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with what this is, a trespass waiver is a supposed agreement with the law enforcement in whatever town or city you're in that allows them to utilize your space that is necessary to conduct their job. Apparently these officers say they have one, but if that were true, they wouldn't be so hell-bent on keeping this man away from them. This is how you really protect your community, folks. For public safety knows these officers aren't supposed to be here, and who knows what they could be doing. So, he took it upon himself to make sure they stay off the private property when they're in the course of their duty. I know me personally, I wouldn't want police on my property to conduct any business. All right, let's get back to the video and see how this one ends. Sidewalk. They don't own the sidewalk, dude. I couldn't hear you. I have bad hearing. 
Do you guys have authorization to be here? Okay, can you uh, can you give me the property owner's number so I can verify that, please? What's your guys' identification? I'm sorry? Lovewell, and you are? Pond. How do you spell that? P-O-N-D. P-O-N-D? Okay, I was going to be polite with you. I was just asking because, you know, this is private property, and I like to make sure that the laws are followed just like you guys. You know what I mean? So I saw people... I'm sorry? So you're working for, you're work. I have, I have bad hearing. Okay, I have to see your mouth move to know when you're talking, so bear with me. I really do, I have a bad right ear, I can't hear anything out of it. I'm, I'm interested in what you were trying to tell me, I just couldn't hear you. You haven't given me a reason to file a complaint. Well, that's why I was asking. Okay. Well, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, you know, trying to get you in trouble or anything. First thing I would do, obviously, I would identify if there was any reason to do that. I'm not just the type of person to just go complain, okay. you know. But I mean, if you guys did something wrong, then I will. You know what I mean? I know the, I know the procedures to doing the complaints. I'm, I'm well acute to all that. But we just, you know, doing our part as citizens to make sure each other's privacy and properties and, you know, everything's being respected. So, and I mean, the, client, the sign right there is what made me ask. Because it clearly says unauthorized vehicles should not be in here. You know what I mean? And I thought it was suspicious behavior seeing people parked out here. Do you know the law to, can you talk to me? I can't hear you. Can you come closer? No. Okay, do you know what, do you know the laws to trespassing? I mean, are you well, you say you're well aware of it? Okay, so the first thing that would need to be, I hear that, I can't hear you. <laughs> the first part of a trespassing law would be what? Have a good fucking day, he said. Y'all have a good day. You're dismissed. Boom. Just like that, these cockroaches scatter after being challenged and pressed. If they did have a supposed trespass waiver, why were they not firm in their position? Maybe because they lied about it? Remember, officers can lie to you and not suffer any consequences. But they ran into the right guy on this night, and he made sure to tell them to take their business elsewhere. For Public Safety did a good job making sure this property was secure from any police activity. Even when these officers tried to cop an attitude and told him to stay off the property, for Public Safety improvised on the spot and used the sidewalk to his advantage to question these guys, which ultimately scared them away. Massive props to for Public Safety for this boss move of dismissing these clowns. Make sure you all head on over to his channel, subscribe, and let him know Sam Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. First Amendment rights, I'ma speak my mind. I don't care about how you feel, cause I'm living mine. Pay them tax dollars, I put in some overtime. I keep my camera rolling, I don't believe it was a crime. We caught watch, watch us hold them accountable, they ain't about nothing. Cause we be standing our ground and we is not running. And this is all real life, so learn a lot from it. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch.